my leadership and what I had to do on the basketball court. I was going to do whatever I had to do to win the game. Michael would become a two-time college player of the year, and his high-flying exploits dazzled fans across the country. As soon as I got in the dressing room, Michael comes running in and grabs Coach, coach. I said, what? Well, yeah, what? You okay? He said, I hope that dunk wasn't too flashy. I said, what dunk? He said, the one I just did at the end. I guess that is a pretty fitting end to the ballgame. Jordan, look at that! Holy crap! It's easy to understand why many consider Michael Jordan the greatest player in basketball history. But describing what made him so great isn't so simple. Michael Jordan was doing things that he never even thought he'd see. Steal, he comes in and bounds. Here it is again. You couldn't imagine seeing it. Oh, yeah. Whatever you paid to see Michael Jordan, it wasn't enough. You knew that every night out there, you were going to get the greatest concert of your life. You know, I have the greatest respect for Michael because he put his heart and soul on the court every night. You know, just watching him dribble over that court, looking you right in the eye, and not knowing what he's going to do is the scariest thing you ever want to be involved in. He just made you wish that for one day that you could die in your You want for what it would be like. It was as a freshman at the University of North Carolina that Michael burst onto the national stage. A one-point lead. To win a world championship would be one of the most humbling and I guess the most exciting things that I've ever been through, especially in a city that has never won. He was instantly the NBA's greatest showman. He would become the game's greatest competitor. Michael would rise highest in the NBA Finals. If the Bulls were going to win their sixth title, they would have to do it the hard way. Look at the air, look at the hang time, look at the flying motion. With nothing to draw on but his will, Michael summoned the strength for one final push. And you get to a point where you just, hey, I'm not going to take any more of this. You know, I took it for three years now, let's start fighting back. Have you ever been afraid on the court ever against never. anybody? Never. Have you ever been intimidated by anybody? Never. I mean, these guys put on their shorts just like me. I don't see anyone on the basketball court. It's tied at 136. They have the full clock. And apparently there was a problem with the, uh, the clock. It just stopped. It stopped. It turns on right now. The Bulls can let it all I think the Bulls championship run. There are 10 seconds remaining in overtime. And Michael has the ball. Get guarded by Sean Marion. The fatal hold. set foot on an NBA court, Michael Jordan dominated his sport like few athletes ever had. He electrified crowds with his skill and style. He turned the Chicago Bulls into a dynasty with six championships in eight years. And in 15 seasons with the Bulls and Wizards, he would transcend the game of basketball, becoming one of the most recognizable athletes in the world. Not bad for a player who was once cut from his high school team. But that didn't stop Michael. In fact, nothing ever did. 
And after soaring to the top of the NBA, there was never a doubt that Air Jordan would one day land in the Basketball Hall of Fame. My final memory of Michael is following through on that shot, that moment when you knew the shot was going in, and just that look when he turned around and came back towards the bench and his, his teammates went over to him and they were coming back as a group. That's the uh, memory that sticks with me the most.